Uh, I will explain this uh, pre-equilibrium approximation here. Let's say we have a complex mechanism from A to C and from C to P. Well, it's possible for the reaction to go backward, but let's assume the reaction rate from P to C is much smaller than from C to P or from A to C or from C to A. Just basically this uh, backward reaction from P to C is negligible. This is just to simplify this mechanism. And when Kf is much greater than K2, and Kr is much greater than K2, we assume that A and C are always at equilibrium. Uh, it is true that uh, C is constantly converted to P, but because this rate is so much smaller than this reaction rate and this reaction rate that I use between E and C, even if the equilibrium is slightly disturbed, E and C will reach the equilibrium again quickly. All right now I'm going to give you a numerical example. So let's say K sub F equals uh, maybe just uh, 1 per second, K sub R is 2 per second. Now let's say this uh, K2 is uh, 10 to the power negative 6 per second. And uh, we can use this uh, pre-equilibrium approximation to just assume that again, Kf times A. That's how fast this A to C reaction is. Is equal to Kr times C. And therefore we have this C is equal to Kf over Kr. And if we define this KEQ to be Kf over, uh, Kf over Kr for the uh, A to C reaction, we have this expression here. And then how fast can P be produced? It's very simple, it's just K2 times C again equals K2 Q times A. Now we're going to use these numbers. So Kf over Kr is Keq equals Kf over Kr. And Kf is 1, Kr is 2, just 1 half. And we plug it in here, it's going to be just K2, this number, times 1 half, times to put the unit here. That's how fast P is produced. This is first order with respect to A.